my beautiful Pisces. Let's see what's coming in your world this week. What's going on with you? Oh, you're going through a transformation. You can never have too many uh, transformations, but you you are going through big, big changes. All right. Um, and also speaking up for yourself more. So addressing the elephant in the room. You can be having more deep conversations with your family about certain things that have been hurting you, certain things that you have been holding back. All right. Um, some of some of you, if you if you have parents that you're still around, you could be trying to help them when it comes to their connection with each other. All right. So there's big, big changes. Let me let me just see what's one of the biggest changes that you are going to be going through. What are you changing, Pisces? More happiness. A lot of people can relate to you more. All right. And no more of pouring from an empty cup. Some of you, you would pour from an empty cup. You would love to help people. You would love to overwork, but you weren't pouring enough into yourself. So no more of you giving what you don't have, which could be time, which can be energy, which can be resources. This is like you focused on your happiness and putting yourself first. All right. So that's what you're going through. You're going through a huge transformation that's going to bring more happiness into your world. And um, this is you standing your ground. So standing your ground when it comes to what you believe in, what you won't tolerate anymore. You know, <laughs> it doesn't matter who it is for you. It could be family. It could be friends. If you have a lover in your life, this is you putting down your boundaries in order to protect your peace of mind some of you are just tired you're tired of the drama you're tired of the the chaos that's that's in your life and you are putting your foot down in order to protect yourself all right um let's see what else is going on what's your outside influences for this week Ooh. Your outside influence could be you're in solitude. You're going to be spending way more time to yourself and you are going to be watching a lot of tarot. So if you're watching a lot of tarot, it could be that you're trying to make decisions about your future. You can also be getting insight on the people around you. You could be watching tarot to get insight on on. You know, if you have a friend, if you have lovers around you, if you have family, you could be watching tarot in order to get more information um, and keeping to yourself more. All right. So that's one of your outside influences. Some of you can also find yourself to be a, a lot more intuitive. Some of you, if you've never had a, a deck, you could be buying a Oracle card deck for yourself. All right. Um. And yeah, the, the biggest thing is like you being flexible with the changes in your life, you taking a stand when it comes to taking your power back and taking action towards the things that you really need in your life. All right. Some of you could be planning a vacation. Some of you could be going on a cruise. I just seen a vision of a ship. You could be um, booking a cruise. Some of you, if you've never did a vacation by yourself, you could be planning a trip by yourself for the first time. And I also see you being cautious when it comes to your money. So not wanting to spend too much. You just being really cautious about how much how much you're you're putting into um, shopping online or if you are going on a vacation, how much money you're going to spend on your vacation. You're being really, really um, disciplined when it comes to your finances and you're being flexible flexible about your future some of you could have just been so tied up in like a specific outcome it has to be this specific person it has to be this specific outcome so when it comes to being flexible you're going to be more open-minded you don't want to limit yourself when it comes to your future you don't want to limit yourself when it comes to your love life um so this is you being more open-minded about what the future can hold for you um Let's see what's going on in your love life. See, even with your love life, it says living in the moment. You're not trying to force, you're not trying to force nothing, but you have an air sign. 
you have an air sign that really likes you. The moon could be somebody who has a, a secret crush on you. Somebody who thinks about you a lot. Somebody who could be like using visuals to like attract you in. I don't know for some reason with this air signs. I don't know if you if you if you know this person. I don't feel a connection. And if you are connected to an air sign, which could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, I don't even though this is the communication card, I don't feel communication. I don't feel connections. So this can be to somebody completely new coming into your life who is checking you out. It could be somebody at your job, somebody in your neighborhood, somebody that you randomly meet, somebody who can see your profile on Instagram. There's just somebody who feels tied to you and you don't know this. You don't know this. It can even be a cancer, but they're they're hiding it. Somebody finds you so attractive. They feel a lot of chemistry when it comes to you all right so are you are you a new are you a newly single pisces because this doesn't show this looks like a new connection that yeah it shows release so if you did have someone or if you were dealing with someone it shows that you could have released someone this looks like a new a new lover that is going to come into yep a new lover that's going to come into your life some of you you can have a lot of people that's going to fight for your attention a lot of people who may see you as emotionally fulfilling that they can have um a love life that they've always dreamed of with you so you are wish fulfillment to many if it shows the five of the five of wands it just means competition there could be people who are observing you, watching you in the background and they see they could be daydreaming about you, you know, like people who can't get you out their head. That's what it looks like. They can't get you out your head. They can't get you out their head. They can't stop thinking about you. You know, if they see you from a distance or if they see photos of you, they get excited. They feel joy and stimulation going through their body when it comes to you. So this is definitely something it could be a capricorn you have people that are obsessed with you let's see who is this air sign it shows balance all right whoever this air sign is it can it can be a libra but they have lots of balance they're about to oh they're about to come forward that's why they're about to come forward. This is somebody who's been watching you. They're about to um, send you a message. You're going to hear from this person. You're going to see who this person is. This is somebody who is single. And they don't want to give up on you. That's what's about to come into your life. Somebody who is single and doesn't want to give up on you. So you have new love. You have you have options. You have options. Some of you, if you have a dog, you could be thinking about selling your dog. Some of you may, like, if you have a pet, you may think about selling your pet and traveling the country for a living. You could be, like, one of those Pisces that, like, go from, like, country to country or state to state and do, like, blogs. That's what I see for some of you. You could be bloggers. So you're going to be um, making more appearances on social media if you are a blogger. I like those blogs of people like traveling different cities and states. I like those blogs. So if you're doing that, more power to you. I would watch. Um, when it comes to your, your finances, you're doing the same thing. You're taking it one day at a time and you're just trusting in the process. The same thing that you're doing in your love life, you're putting that energy into your work. So this is this is damn good. Some of you could be getting guidance. Some of you could be considering going back to school or going back to get a certification or studying something else. Some of you may think about real estate, like if you want your real estate license, you're just contemplating on on another move that you can make. There's there's a miracle when it comes to your finances and whatever you're trying to do. All right. Let's see what you need to surrender. What do you need to surrender to get closer to your goals in this season? I hear license to shoot. Some of you guys could be getting a gun license. Or you could be meeting a police officer. What do you need to surrender? 
surrender comparison all right keep your eyes trained on yourself focus on your own strengths focus on your own in, inner power and surrender to miracles there's more miracles coming into your life so this is good i feel like for you as a Pisces, I feel like the most powerful thing that you can give to yourself right now is detachment. Do not attach yourself to any specific outcome when it comes to like your finances or when it comes to your love life. Because I feel like when you surrender the outcome and you're not so attached, I feel like miracles can come into your world. And this is what spirit is trying to give you. They want you to surrender. Surrender to having it your specific way and allow them to move in your life because they're going to align you with what's best for you all right and the last card that it shows is surrender to defensiveness defensiveness is a sign of weakness to communicate to communicate in a more empowered way stay centered and hear someone out then offer a, a clear response so defensiveness if you have somebody who if you have somebody like an ex or a sibling who wants to speak to you the spirit is just telling you just to drop your ego that's that's what that's all they're saying because if you get defensive then it might make the other person defensive and then you start arguing um so that's what i see i just see more freedom for you overall and in a brand new love who's about to speak to you let's see more about this brand new love all right who is this new lover who's about to communicate to Pisces? Who are they? And it could be an earth sign too. If it's not an air sign, it could be an earth sign. It could be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. All right. Somebody who feels very, very sexually attracted to you. Somebody who you could have met during the retrograde. When it shows Mercury retrograde, you could have met this person during Mercury retrograde. Or are we in a retrograde? <laughs> All right. Let me see what else comes out. It shows intimacy. It, so it shows intimacy with this person. So this could be somebody they feel they feeling really really attracted to you they're feeling real attracted to you and you guys can have a soulmate connection all right what else it also shows take your time and go slow so you will take your time and go slow to meet this person some of you too you may have an earth sign you may have an earth sign and an air sign that comes into your life. You can have two people. All right. So if you want a full reading on the new person that is going to be entering your life or two people who are coming to enter your life, you can click on the extended. I'm going to do a full spread. I'm going to do a full spread for earth sign and air sign because those are the two prominent signs that came out so if you are speaking to an earth sign or if you're speaking to an air sign i'm doing two full spreads on the extended to see the actions that they're going to take to you and outcomes and what secrets are they hiding as well as more messages about your family your friends and your children love and light